your heart will always keep you safe. You're always safe in your heart. It doesn't matter how you feel physically, you know, because we're so, you know, within the human experience, we're challenged with that body thing, you know, this, the fear and the fight or flight and the, all the stress and all that stuff, you know what I mean? But even then, you can connect to the breath because that's the balance, that's the center of the spiritual and the physical you. And just know that, yeah, you know, it's okay. It's okay, don't beat yourself up. It's all good, you're at home. Feel me? Much love to you, thank you for having me. I am. demonstration of this chemical reaction of physicality, home is being able to fulfill the capacity of my whole reality and see all things that I need to see in the moment that I need to see them. Home is total understanding, total responsibility, beyond distance, beyond limitation, beyond time, beyond space. My home is where I'm at in the present true present. I'm going to get into this piece for you. It's called Fire Codes. Mazarov, Urego Renastral Flame Cleansing, Gold Flame, White Flame, Blue Flame, Amenti, The Great Fire Holocaust, the Exodus, Hyperspace, Thrust on Chemical Furnace, Purging of this Rod of Iron, Lamp Oil on Your Single Eye, Hermit, Pineal Lamp of the Body is Your Second Sight, Serpent, how dark is your light? Your light ignite, have no fright. These are the magic waves, accretion levels raise. Skill our wave, magician playing with a full door, dodecahedron, demi urge, demolition, eschatones. Sound, sound, force fills due form. We affect the universe with prayer forms. Fire encodes into frequency fence. Firewalls call to pray. No war in the heavens, invisible reverie suddenly wage in the inner zodiacal space. In the ritual base nature of this battleground. This is home. Being able to unravel the reality from my internal source. I am capacity. Rearranging all things that could be blockages to my reality to unfurl. For all us to bring love together, connected, to join in frequencies and in auric fields. Home is internally sourced and the exodus is beyond limitations. Forbidden mysterious spirit science told symbolical through rites and order secret alliances under oath. Cyclical, sidereal, stellar, astronomical mythos and under many suns, plenty pillars collapse to dust. When hearts become stripped, sky cloud when exposed to the lamp of the soul, a deicide is redefined the goals. Plunder the lions, crumble under eternal law. The roses will never flourish like the priesthood shall fall. A degenerate misuse of light cannot survive the cleansing. These forces are desperately closing in before the ending and the ascending into the exodus of returning home. Thank you. Aloha is the soul of you. Behold, the universe is already holding you. 
and then release yourself from what's controlling you. Do what you need to do, not what you're told to do, and embrace the truth, aloha is the soul of you. Exodus shine in golden blue. What does it mean for the exodus to shine? Does it mean to be divine? Does it mean to recline when you see the state of people getting drunk off the wine of Babylon and the stupidity? Is it not enough that we don't have the fluidity of the grown-ups to lead the seven generations properly instead of allowing this ridiculous monopoly of stupid, idiotic thoughts and nonsense that topples the twin towers or better yet even devours the very ground that you stand on that's supposed to be growing flowers and deeper in the soil, allowing which to not be foil like aluminum, soon to be blown up and shrapnel, dis desegregated and cause a lot of things to be the opposite of emancipated. So what do you mean when your taxes go into the war system and destroy the same towns and villages that you try to protect in your own home? Remember your own home. It's not the structure or the shelter. It's the thing that is the opposite of helter-skelter. It's the deepness in the heart, the, the essence that causes the pump beep to pump. To not leave one in a slump, to not leave one in the dump like a trash. Instead, take all of these nonsensical ideas that you're attached to and burn them down into ash. Take the ashes and the soot. Make a war mask at least. And go against the mark of the beast. Go against the spark and release the flame. Remember to never play any ridiculous games with your own self. Go into the deeper heart and go into the deeper trueness of the uh, health of the heartbeat and the grandfather drum and as well the grandmother of mother nature that gives you the birth of life and has never ever disgraced you. Don't disgrace it, don't deface it, never try to replace it. Remember, allow your heartbeat to pump and embrace it. Remember the truth, remember the wisdom. And remembering means to live it. Remembering means to not only receive it, but to give it, to share it, air it, feel it, plant it, seed it, watch it grow into deeper trees that can catastrophically and cataclysmically change the globe and even create a shade for the strongest skyscrapers and make them implode. And they need to be imploded. They need to be eroded because they're not natural. They're not factual. And actual is home. Home is the zone that we live in within Aloha, within On Tare Tu, Tare Tu Soha. It's deep within the essence of Tara, and deep within the essence of the grandfather drum and father sky, and living with the eye and eye, and job bless, always yeah. non stress. Cause I'm never in nonsense, I never have a contest, cause there's no need to compete. My style will always delete, because my style is no style. It's the style that dances with the feet of the soil of nature, of the planet of Honua, of everything that leaves us, alleviates us, and removes stress and always leaves us in a sense that we feel blessed every day, every night. Why is it that we've had tons of people? We've had Malcolm. We've had Bob Marley. We've had even Robert Kennedy moving around and dancing. And still he was killed hardly in front of your face as Nixon glanced and laughed. And then you let Watergate remove his behind from the seat of the leader, and now you have a leader that's literally draining the leaders of blood from your own carcasses. Are you already dead or are you alive? If you're alive, then live, breathe, be the essence of life and give and share. Keep the circulation of the seven generations in the deepest positive divine penetration which goes on infinitely, forever, beyond which what can see, beyond the seashells or the seashore or the sea stars. Remember to always see the star inside of your heart and see stars because we are. Behold the universe is already holding you. And remember to remove what's controlling you. Yeah. Heal yourself and embrace the truth that Aloha is the soul of you. And Jah is always with you because the exodus across the Red Sea of sin and karma and destruction leads us to the promised land of regeneration, renewal, and rebirth. Oh. Namaste. Yeah.